hello everyone so welcome let's continue the part two of this module and it's all about charging by induction let us start this video lesson by answering the what i know portion of the charging by induction which of the following is not an insulator it's copper wire an uncharged conductor is supported by an insulating stand i pass a positively charged rod near the left end of the conductor, but do not touch it. The right end of the conductor will be, okay, it would be positive. What do you call the process of charging a conductor by bringing it near another charged object? That's induction. What do you call the materials in which electrons do not move freely? That's insulator. Which of these is the best definition of polarization? It's the charges in a neutral object separate due to a nearby charge object. An atom loses an electron. What type of charge does it have now? Positive. Which of the following is not a good conductor of electricity? Glass. Atoms may have neutrons which have no charge. What device is used for detecting charges? Electroscope. An uncharged conductor is supported by insulating stand. I pass a positively charged rod near the end of the conductor, but do not touch it. The right end of the conductor will be positive. There are two cans, A and B. A negatively charged balloon is brought near can A, which is most likely to happen. The negative charges in can A move away from the balloon. If balloon B is negatively charged, then balloon C must be, if balloon B is negatively charged, that, and as you can see in the picture, it is attracted to balloon A, therefore, balloon A is a positively charged. And a repel sila ni C, kaya pa pareho silang positively charged. A positively charged rod is brought close to one end of a neutral metallic plate. What type of charge is induced on the closest side of the plate? Negative. How does an atom become charged? By gaining and losing of electrons. How can we know if an object is electrically polarized? Its charges have been rearranged. So in the previous lesson, we discussed about charging by friction. So simply that means rubbing of material to another. And we make use of the triple electric series. So we identify those um, materials that have this at greater attractiveness to the electrons or to affinity for electrons that means um, they can easily gain more electrons and the other materials they can easily lose electrons becoming a positive charge this lesson let's talk about charging by induction so you can um, if charging by friction there is contact in that type of charging. In this type of charging, there would be no contact that will happen. So, it will not touch the other object. For example, the balloon and the can, they won't touch each other. So, just accomplish this activity and see to, see to, for, to yourself what happened. And here's the criteria. All right. So going back to our lesson. So, so in this type of charging, polarization will occur. So what happened during polarization? So the charges rearrange. Okay. So for example, kapag... Um, you have a sphere and my negatively charged balloon kayong pinapalapit sa kanya without touching it 
So, what happened in that sphere is, um, ang kanyang electrons ay pupunta sa opposite end. And yung protons lang ang yung magpa, ano, mag, mag, stay sa kanyang um, kinaroroonan. So, basically, ganito lang yung illustration ni charging by induction. For example, ito, may dalawa tayong sphere. Take note, magkadikit yung dalawang sphere, A and B. And may insulating stand siya to make sure na hindi talaga maglalabas yung electrons. Kung baga, insulating siya. So, the electrons cannot freely flow from it. So, Itong dalawang sphere, for example, pinapalapitan natin ng negatively charged balloon. So, what happened is, magpopolarize yung mga charges niya. So, for example, yung balloon na negatively charged is pinapalapit natin dito sa... Uh, saan ba natin papalapitin? Dito sa sphere A. So... Ang mangyayari, no, in between na lang, in between na lang. So, ang mangyayari is, uh, o sige, ito na, papalapitin natin sa sphere A. So, ang mangyayari is lahat ng negatively charged uh, particle, kay electron, okay? Lahat ng electron is magre-repel siya sa balloon kasi the same ang kanilang charge. Negatively charged yan si balloon. So, ang mangyayari is pupunta si electron the negatively charged particle dito sa sphere B. So, ang mangyayari dito is may polarization na nangyayari. Lahat ng negative is nagpupunta dito sa sphere B. So, upon separating them, ang mangyayari is, uh, yes, uh, itong si sphere B is magiging negatively charged material na siya. Okay? So, basically, uh, take note ha, si balloon is hindi nag-touch sa sphere A, pinapalapit lang. Kapaga. Law of conservation of charge, of course, applies to this type of charging. So, the overall charge of these two spheres, for example, positive 100 units of protons plus um, 100 units then ni electrons, the negatively charged, is equal to 0 units. So, take note, walang nawawala. Um, what's this? Charges is neither created nor destroyed. It's just uh, transferred from one sphere to another sphere. Okay? And take note, si electron lang ang freely can move kasi nasa outside siya sa nucleus. Si proton is held in the nucleus kaya hindi siya freely makamove. Okay, I hope you learned something sa charging by induction explanation natin. And yeah, what's more? Let's try to answer this. Two neutral conducting popcans are touching each other. So the same ito sa sphere na inillustrate natin kanina. A positively charged balloon is brought near one of the cans as shown above. So this time positively charged siya. Hindi katulad kanina na negatively charged. The cans are separated while the balloon is nearby as shown. Okay. So, after the balloon is removed, the cans brought back together. When touching again, can X is... So, what happened? So, dito ang mangyayari. Si can X dapat dapat negatively charged na siya dito kasi mag-attract si positively charged ni negative. So, when touching again, can X is negatively charged. So, yun sa yun ang sagot dapat. So, what I have learned, kayo na po ang gagawa nito. So, a neutral metal sphere and a negatively charged rubber rod that will result in a positive charge in the spheres Okay, kayo nang gagawa nito. Meron namang uh, rubrics of scoring. Uh, and the same so what I can do. Describe the process of charging by induction through an illustration. Draw this on a separate sheet of paper. So you can do it, the one and the illustrate code during the discussion and the 
it's either positively charged si balloon or negatively charged si balloon. For example, then dalawang can or dalawang sphere. Kayo ng bahala mag-illustrate. Meron tayong rubrics of scoring. For the assessment, um, i-pause nyo na lang yung video kapag gusto nyo i-go over yung mga answers. Okay? Kayo na pong magbasa. Yeah, my additional uh, activities. And I would like you to do this on your own. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope, uh, let's try to answer this. I, uh, let's try to answer this para naman siguro kayo ma, ano, maging happy. So, yan ang answers natin sa ating additional activities. You may pause this video para mag-go over nyo yung mga answers. So, I hope nagiging happy din kayo. And see you sa ating next type of charging which is charging by conduction. Bye-bye!